I want to show you why you don't need to be afraid of carbs anymore and what to focus on instead. Now, these are some typical carb options that I recommend to all my clients. Oatmeal, rice, potato. Eating enough carbs, what's going to happen is you're going to have more energy for your workouts, but you're also going to reduce sugar cravings because a lot of times your sugar cravings are coming from the fact that you're under eating throughout the day. So if you're eating enough carbs throughout the day and getting enough fiber from your carbs, you're going to have less sugar cravings. And obviously, if you're pairing those carbs with solid protein sources, your sugar cravings are going to drop even lower. You're going to feel way more full throughout the day. You're going to make better decisions and have more balanced meals. Now, the problem is most people, when they start introducing these sort of foods into their diet, they tend to be very afraid or hesitant to do so because they've been told that carbs are going to just like magically make them fat. But in reality, carbs are going to help you keep fat off and allow you to lose fat easier. You should be focusing on moderating and controlling your fat. But what I found from working with hundreds of people is that most people are not over consuming carbs and they're definitely not over consuming carbs like these. I've never once onboarded a client and been like, wow, this person eats way too much oatmeal. A lot of times the foods that you're thinking of that are scary or junk food that are, you know, foods that are going to make you fat. They're usually higher in fat calories than they are carb calories. Think of like French fries, potato chips, pizza, donuts, ice cream. All of these foods have the majority of their calories coming from fats, not carbs. The fats added to the carbs is usually what makes them taste a lot better, jacks up the calories on the serving. So if you think about French fries, French fries are just potatoes. It's frying them in oil that makes them high calorie and easy to arena. Now, fats also have nine calories per gram, whereas carbs have four calories per gram. So even just gram to gram, a gram of fat has way more calories than a gram of carbs. So you can see how fat calories just add up way faster. But here's the thing that I really want you to focus on. When you're eating meals out, for example, you're going to have a lot of calories sneak in from fats that you wouldn't expect is a third of a cup of olive oil. This is close to 800 calories of oil. Now, this may look like a lot of oil more than you would normally put in your pan, but this can easily sneak into a salad or any meal you're eating out. And think about it. This isn't going to make you feel any more full. And I could pour this on your salad right now you wouldn't notice any difference in fullness from eating that salad, but the salad would now have 800 calories more. Like how crazy is that, right? Adding this to salad can jack the calories up close to 1,000 calories just by adding this, and it wouldn't make you feel any more full. Now, in order to get the same amount of calories from any of these carb sources, you'd have to eat four cups of rice, two full cups of oatmeal, which if you've ever made a cup of oatmeal, you know how filling that is. I could not personally eat two cups of oatmeal in one sitting. Two cups of oatmeal is actually way more filling than four cups of rice. But four cups of rice, two full cups of oatmeal, or six boiled sweet potatoes would equal the amount of calories, actually less than the amount of calories from this amount of oil. Now, you're not going to be able to sneak two cups of oatmeal, four cups of rice, or six potatoes into your meal. You're not going to be able to overeat on those very easily. It's actually going to be really hard to finish them. So the, the likelihood of you eat overeating calories from these foods is very, very minimal, very unlikely. Whereas eat overeating calories from fats is very easy. Another example would be something like pistachios or almonds, foods that are often thought of to be pretty healthy. One handful of those is like 200 calories. You smash a couple of handfuls of those throughout the day at work, and you're adding 800 to 1,000 calories to your day without even feeling any more full. So from now on, when you're starting a healthy diet, make sure you're including healthy, fibrous carbs into your diet and you're moderating the amount of unnecessary fats in your diet. Not saying that you need to be afraid of fats, but those are calories that add up way faster than carb calories. So if you're going to moderate something, I would suggest moderating fats and actually increasing or at least eating enough fibrous carbs in your diet to help keep you full, moderate sugar cravings, and give you better workouts.